Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're gonna be making playtime rewards. This is good for like keeping players intrigued into your game and make them want to play it more or for a longer period of time because they're gonna maybe get like a multiplier boost or you can give them like a big paycheck in game for however long they play. So let's get started. I'm gonna close this. So first we are going to create some values in the player so serve script service hit the plus we're going to insert a script i'm just going to rename the script to ls for leader stats i'm going to remove the basic part of the script i'm going to do game not players oh, game not players not player added connect function player this gets when the player joins the game and attaches them to a player variable now what i'm going to do is local stats equals instance.new folder i'm going to parent it to the player and then i'm going to name it leader stats and put these. so we're creating a new instance which is a folder which is the same thing as hitting a plus on anywhere and inserting a folder except we're doing it in a script format this is the parent which is where the object will go that you just created in this case it's our folder and we're going to put it inside of the player then we're renaming the folder to leader stats just how we renamed the script to ls it's just like doing that to this folder now we're just going to create a currency so we can demonstrate the um, reward so let's say local coins or let's do local cash equals instance dot new number value we're going to put it in our stats folder we're going to give it a basic value of zero and we're going to rename it to cash so we create a new instance which is a number value and this time we put it inside of the leader stats folder we created we set its default value to zero which is a property inside of a number value and then we change its name to cash now we're going to make a simple while wait loop just so we could gain some cash over time so we can do while wait one two cash or let's do player dot leader stats dot cash dot value plus equals one so this is going to constantly repeat with a one second delay so every second it's going to run whatever is in between here and in between here we're adding a we're adding one to the value of cash so every second the player is going to get one more cash than they had previously but let's add a multiplier to this so let's do local pt rewards pt stands for playtime and then rewards equals instance dot new number value this time we're going to put it in the player we're going to rename it to um, pt rewards and then we're going to set its default value to one so we're making another number value and instead we're putting it in the player because if we put it inside of our leader stats folder it's going to show in the player list and this we don't want shown in the player list we can demonstrate this in like a little ui in the corner once we're done with this part we're renaming it to pt rewards and we're setting this value to one instead of zero because it's just like math if we try doing this times player dot pt rewards dot value if the player's PT reward value is zero, it's going to be one times zero, which is zero, meaning the player won't be able to gain anything until this increases some way or another. So we're going to keep it at one by default so the player can gain by default. So this is our this leader set script that we have here. Now we should do a loop in a different script because this loop is going to constantly go and usually when you add another loop it bugs out or it doesn't go to that loop or start that loop that's just from my experience but we can we're just gonna do another script just in case so in service script service we're gonna hit the plus and then insert another script and this is gonna just be named um bt rewards then we're going to remove the default script and do game not player dot player added connect function player same to what we did in our last script like it's about player right and then we're just going to do 
while or actually I'm gonna do tasks.wait1 because we want to make sure everything's added to the player because we don't want the loop to start before any of this is added since this is both starting at the same time when the player joins the game so we want to make sure this gets created before we start doing anything so let's add a little delay then we're gonna do a well, while wait let's say how about every 10 seconds you can change this number to however many seconds you want the player to have to wait to get another reward and then we're going to do player.ptrewards.value plus equals let's say 0.5 so every 10 seconds we're going to get 0.5 higher multiplier so that should be our rewards completed you can change this up and if you don't want a multiplier and you want to increase the player's cash amount you can do like player.leaderstats.cash.value plus equals whatever times whatever or whatever equation that you want to do to give the player so we're just going to make a quick little ui to actually show the player that they have a different playtime reward you can make like a little pop-up effect every 10 seconds that says or however much your delay is that says like thank you for playing for this long you now have a whatever multiplier or playtime multiplier but i'm just gonna make a little screen gui i'm gonna hit the plus and put in a text label and i'm just gonna put this let's just put this at the top just to demonstrate the player's playtime multiplier so we can see it change so I'm just going to make this PT by default. You can design this if you want. I'll give it a little bit of designing. I'm just going to get rid of the stroke. Not going to do much. So I'm just going to name this PT text. And this to main. So in our PT text, I'm going to hit the plus. I'm going to insert a local script. I'm going to rename this local script to, let's say, text changer, I guess. So in here, we're going to remove the default text and do local player equals game dot players dot local player then script dot parent dot text equals player dot pt rewards dot value a continuation and then we're going to do play time multiplier so we're getting the pt rewards value from the player these two dots signify continuation which means we can add on a value to a string value so like a number value and a string value merged into one and then we're adding the playtime multiplier text afterward and now what we're going to do is player dot pt rewards dot changed connect function and we're going to do the same thing as on lines three script.parent.txt equals player.ptrewards.value continuation playtime multiplier this gets when the playtime reward is changed so let's say they have a one playtime multiplier when it changes to 1.5 that's a change in the value so then it'll run whatever's in here which we want to update the text whenever it changes so now let's go ahead and test this out open output so as you can see we have a one time one play time multiplier once we hit 10 cash probably since it's happening every second as you can see now we have a 1.5 play time multiplier because we've been playing for 10 seconds now let's get to 25 probably around that yep now i have a two play time multiplier as you can see now i'm getting more cash every time the longer i stay in the game so this can like encourage people to stay in the game longer because they want that good boost and such. So yeah, hopefully this video helped you and hopefully you enjoyed. See ya.